So this is one of those driverless LED chips and by driverless it means that it does not require any external adapter or any external power supply. All the uh, voltage control circuitry is built onto the LED chip so here you can see all the uh, control circuitry, uh, voltage control circuitry and all you need to do in this is plug in your uh, so solder on your live and neutral wires and just directly plug it into the mains and it will work without any problems. And this one is rated at 50 watts so uh, it's a nice little LED chip and this one uh, costs about $2. Uh, you get two variants 110 volts and 220 volts. I bought the 220 volts variant because we get 220 volts here. And you get two colors one is warm white one is cold white. This is the warm white variant. and. Uh, here is the cold white variant. You can see my horrible soldering job. I gotta resolder this, but yeah, as you can see, I've applied some thermal compound here on its back. And um, yeah, this one requires active cooling because it, just, it generates a lot of heat. So it's got a nice aluminum back. The LED is on front. And here I have another warm white LED. I've just um, uh, attached it to a PC heatsink. So here you can see I've soldered on two wires and on the top we have a fan for cooling and yes it does require an active, uh, active cooling system because this one gets quite hot uh, rated at 50 watts and you can see here some damage uh, happened during shipping so we'll see if it works or not I haven't tested it yet and supposedly these ones don't flicker so I will be using these as my video light and see how it goes. So um, let's go ahead and wire this up and I'll be right back. Alright, so for testing purposes I haven't wired up the fan so that'll be a project for later but I've directly wired it up to the connector and this one is going into the power strip which is running on mains 220 volts. So yeah, do keep your hands off there when you're turning this thing on. Alright, so here we go. You can see this thing is super bright and there's absolutely no flicker which is exactly what I'm looking for. So I can keep this thing back there and um, continue filming my videos. You can see this thing is really bright. Okay so I've turned off all the lights. Let's turn this thing on. Okay as you can see this thing is super bright. Yeah this thing is extremely bright and you can see it lights up the whole room. Yeah, probably not a good idea to look at this thing directly. But for floodlights, uh, this thing is perfect. And um, as you can see, most importantly, there is absolutely no flickering. The light is constant. You can see no flickering in the camera. And um, yeah, this thing is quite bright. No issues at all. In a general purpose, um, floodlight these are great LED uh, chips and you won't even need an additional driver just solder on your wires and plug it in there you go all you need is an adequate cooling solution a large heatsink or a small heatsink like this with a fan and that will be more than enough so anyways thanks for watching this video do stay tuned for more videos like this if you want to buy these links are down in the video description they are about two dollars each so thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys next time